Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement as I'm finally getting the opportunity to return to season two, only episode two of Lucifer. Where did we leave off? Okay, Monadale is losing his powers. Why? Question, question mark. Cause it's not, it does not appear to be the same as Lucifer where another person is in proximity. Why is he losing his powers? The police station got a remodel <laughs> and we met, well, not sorta, okay, appeared, Lufer's, Lucifer's mother appeared in the elevator. Everybody has access to, I know a lot of y'all was saying, oh, he's immortal, impenetrable. Who does he have to fear? I would just fear someone weird coming into my space, but I guess if I was Lucifer, Messing with that person that dared to enter my sanctuary would be fun. But yeah, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, so I'm ready to get to it. And I'm so glad that you're all with me. It's been a long century. So I've got the big cozy blanket because it's still chilly. I've got some wine. I have all of you who are going to remember that full episode watch along is available on Patreon. If you'd like to join me, I'm also posting the reactions as well. So if you want to check either or out at the same time, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get to it. And nobody's checking on him. And that was creepy. Oh, was this mom jumping into a body? Oh, was mom jumping into bodies? Has anyone seen Lucifer? Well, not anymore. <laughs> we saw that coming. Oh, we saw that coming. I need to find Lucifer. Man, thought I killed your ass. <laughs> so why was she dead? Ooh, why was she dead? Or dying, I guess I should say. <gasps> oh, she had kids. So are they gonna solve her murder? That's an interesting thought. So what powers does Lucifer's mom have? And that's when I started looking for you, son. Well, say something. Aren't you glad to see me? I apologize for my human form, but at least this one has supreme hindquarters. <laughs> I swear all I've done for three days is wander this cesspool, asking you Batman's cretins how to find you. What are you doing? Calling him in a deal. Oh, wonderful. He's here too? Yes, and he'll be the one taking you back to hell, so... What? Why? Because you're dangerous and terrifying. <laughs> We've wasted enough time being estranged. I'd do anything to rectify that now. Why? Sure you don't mean revenge there. Your father put me in hell. But I was your warden. Not by choice. We were both wronged. But you could have at least visited me. Oh, I'm sorry. Never. When dad cast me out, who stood by and did nothing? That's him? right. That's right. He was bitter. You don't know anything about me. I'm your mother. Not for a very, very long time. Well, I want to be now. Why again, I ask? Well, retrace your steps. If I don't find a trail of bloodshed and carnage, then perhaps I'll believe you. Well, I need to get you some clean clothes. Humans tend to frown at the sight of blood. Question. So what if Lucifer had gone to, he to, you know, to Earth to start his new life, but chose a different name? Would she have ever have found him if he didn't go by Lucifer? Uh, Leave it, would you? Gosh. These are the clothes he found her. These are the clean clothes he found her. <laughs> and those shoes. Those shoes. Uh, Mom? Is there another body? 
I think you left out a minor detail. Liar, liar, slutty dress on fire, mother. That's where it came from. Why would I bring you here just to disprove my story? I don't know. But that's exactly what I'm going to find out. Don't wait! <laughs> wait. Wait, was there a secret door to that bathroom that we did not know about? Hey, bud. Can I tag in next? Excuse me. The lady. How much? This one you could kill. Come on. Oh, and she I'm will. Joking, joking, <laughs> we're gonna have to lose those clothes. A serious problem. Then we're gonna see my colleague. <sighs> not now, mom. Naked. Well, you said the clothes were a problem, so it's a problem solved. Get in the oh, traumatized fraternity now, so thank you very much for that. Now, what if it was one of the other gentlemen? <laughs> I know you don't work for me anymore, very clear, but I have a feeling you're going to love this one. So just think of it as a parting gift. Hello, Mazakeen. Is that her in a human body? <laughs> well, unfortunately. For you. I appreciate your enthusiasm, Baze, but hands <laughs> off. Millennia, Lucifer, with no physical form. <laughs> but now, look at all that flesh. So how did Maze torture someone not in a physical form? I was just trying to give Timmy Twinkle Toes a makeover. That's quite the makeover. Honey, you, you popped out her eye. That was an accident. Well, I think she looks rather fetching. <laughs> it's a douche. Not spring? <laughs> spring. Hey. You can disco a bad guy into confessing. This isn't a game, this is parenting. At the police station? Just a doll. I don't know all the fuss is about. Trixie's best friend Landa got a new all-American doll, and now Trixie wants one. So what does she do? She destroys her old doll, expecting me to replace it. Oh, impressive. But then I'd expect nothing less from the shrewd little minx. Why don't you comply? Then we can get on, no. yes? <laughs> comply. <laughs> Abandon the child in its time of need. We won't trust you in the future. Is that what you want, detective? Decker. Uh. How long has you been here? I don't know, maybe a few days. Guess the maid really took the do not disturb sign seriously. But cause of death, man single puncture you. wound to the neck. I'm thinking ice pick. Or a screwdriver, perhaps. Five inch Phillips head. Yeah, maybe. A little too specific. I could. I know. I'm assuming it belongs to Cinderella here. Cinderella? Sure you don't mean evil stepmother? Are we really still on the whole my mother did it thing? Throwing homicides at her until one sticks? No, I'm simply saying that the missing woman may well be our killer. How do you know there's a missing woman, Lucifer? <sighs> well, we would know more if she had left more than a shoe. We don't have a purse. A nice pocket. No wallet, no keys. Would the woman's phone help? Well, yes, of course, but we don't have- A phone! <sighs> He's subtle. Good eye, Luz. Ifer. I want to find another body. Trust me, you will not find another body. I found a body. Another one? She's a maid at the hotel. Explains why she didn't find her dead guy. Uh, but who did it? Why didn't they find her? Wait, what? Okay. Mm, note. Pin it for later. It's a little unusual for a woman to strangle someone. Look at the size of the bruising. Clearly not man hands. I've seen some guys with some pretty tiny lady hands. Dan doesn't count. <laughs> Lucifer. Hmm? Oh, I'm He's trying to reach a Menadel. Usually works. He must have gone for a wank or something. So he's still renting that office. <laughs> Surprised to see you're still coming in. <laughs> Put all these books in there. Just didn't go to the library. 
I mean, after all, this is a, a real facility for real therapists with real patients. Now, you wouldn't understand this, but I was dealing with matters of great importance. I didn't have a choice. Yes, you did. You used me. You didn't have to do that. I confided in you, trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Things have been very trying for me. Mm. Join the club. Maybe if you didn't think so much about yourself and more about how you treat others. It's called karma. <laughs> Might want to research that. Love his feathers. Is he molting? The most effective way to do this is with a discreet and systematic approach. Understood. Partners and then... Tension, I know I mention it all the time. However, does she have a house just for her coats? She has so many coats. Every episode she's got two or three. What about this a Louboutin power pump with the ombre finish in a size uh, seven, six UK? Six UK. Charlotte Richards, she's the owner of this firm. When she didn't come into the office, I just assumed she was out of town on a case. Was this man involved in any of those cases by chance? The dead guy. Is this dead man one of the... <laughs> oh my God, is he dead as a door now? Yes, or in this case, a door screw. <laughs> And I happen to think that Charlotte may well have done... provide us with more information. Wait, does that mean you think Charlotte is alive? Define alive. When was the last time you saw her? When's the last time you had sex with her, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> I did this. Oh, Charlotte, I'm so sorry. Bradus, look at me. Bradus. Did you want Charlotte gone? No, no, we were in love. We were completely monogamous. She wouldn't even sleep with her own husband. That was my question. Who was she married to? Yeah, but she hated that guy. So who does the little girl belong to? As in who was her father? Should grab more wine. Mr. Richards, when was the last time your wife was home? Three days ago, maybe. You didn't file a missing persons report? She's always traveling, doesn't always tell me when. Did she tell you she was bonking her associate, Bradley? <laughs> Did she? As subtle as a sledgehammer, this one. Do you recognize this man? He came by the house with a package for Charlotte. I'm pretty sure it was like a work thing. Well, it depends what kind of package, doesn't it? When exactly did you surrender your manhood? Believe me, I personally commend you for not abandoning your children, but that's still no reason to give up. So you have an entire slice of salami stuck to your shirt. Oh, God. <sighs> Come on, where's your closet? <laughs> He's gonna dress him. <laughs> oh, goody. They come in more colors. It's only one body part rubber should be worn, huh? Not that you'd know. <laughs> Hawaiian print, the eighth deadly sin. Here we go, this is more promising. Not worn since the wedding. That's what I thought. Right, let's have a look. It's a blue. Come on. So who's inside? Oh. Is that, uh. Yeah. Cocaine. Oh, and the good stuff as well. Well, this took a turn. You know, feeding a whole ball team is a too big a job when you have pack running and tea dinner. What is this strange gooey substance that this boy is cooing about? Why is she watching shows in black and white? Watching porn? Watching porn. Wow. 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 What's with the box? Delivery for you. What? From who? Ma. Dan, I thought we talked about this. Did somebody leave a credit card on Alexa? Oh, she's here. Lovely. <gasps> Did the mini kitchen come soon? The mini kitchen! <laughs> it's fine. You can say it's from you. <sighs> he got Trixie a doll. Oh, look. She comes with an adorable little chocolate cake. Your child's favorite. Chocolate cake. I will deal with you later.
You couldn't break me in hell. What makes you think you could do it here? Maybe I couldn't hurt you because you weren't human. Hell gives the damned what they deserve. I didn't deserve to be punished. I think it's because I just didn't find your weak spot. You need him. And if I stay, then he won't need you. Trust me, you won't stay. Lucifer made a deal with your ex to take you back to hell. And he doesn't break deals. He made a deal? Wait. Lucifer is our weak spot. Is that a weak spot? Are those tears? <gasps> You're a bad mother. What's mother's name? And where does M where did Mays come from? She hell born? Thought Mays? Or was she birthed from something? So he was working with Charlotte and the FBI as an informant? Trying to build a case against Perez, yeah. Perez's hitman is Jimmy the Carpenter. You want to take a guess at his M.O.? Screwdriver? Oh. Right, well, should we arrest the Perez chap then? The FBI has been trying to do that for years. He's Teflon, he tries. Yeah, we can't risk derailing the FBI's case. And we have to get a warrant. I'll see if I can rush one. Perez could have Charlotte now. Oh, I doubt it. Well, if not, he's after her. Well, that's a possibility. Right, new information, Maze. Seems Mum might not be a lying sack of savagery after all, but it also seems that she's the target of a vicious cartel hitman. So, you mustn't let her leave the penthouse until this. Mom's gone. Your mom's gone. <laughs> she tricked me, then headbutted me, then left. But if she dies, she just jumps into another the body. The worst that can happen is that she's brutally murdered. If so, she'll just. Find a new body and run right back like a good mum. Huh? Or not. Why not? I may have let the whole deal with God thing slip. Oh, that's why. <laughs> it's not that it's physically impossible, it's which you want to. How far can a celestial being trapped in a feeble human body for the first time get? Well, let's see. She's stupid hot, wearing my clothes, and she's got a corporate credit card. Bollocks. She's... And Fiji. <laughs> Just looking for the head of a big drug cartel. Is he home? Vicky? <gasps> oh, sorry, love. What? Vicky! Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> okay, surprise, I'm here about Charlotte Richards. <laughs> this is what I wanted when he was fighting women. Last episode, Bobby Lee. You may think that she's dead, but she's not, which is fine because you also think that she's still Charlotte, but she's also not. Is that clear? That's the wrong strategy. Wrong strategy. <laughs> like a sledgehammer. Snowstorm in a tanning salon. How ironic. What? <gasps> what? Detective. I think Vicky here is ready for a little bit of show and tell. Emphasis on the show. <laughs> what? What? Why would I do that? I was using him. Fed him bogus information on purpose. Kid was an asset. Well, you forgot to tell your buddy Jimmy the plan. The screwdriver in the neck. The carpenter? He's dead. Since when? Did I throw a wrench in your works? Get it? Screwdriver? Wrench? But the press case was sensitive. You were the only one here besides Charlotte who knew about it. Which means you were also the only one here who was aware of Jimmy the Carpenter's methodology. You don't think that I... Got a handy with a screwdriver and tried to pin it on the Perez cartel? Yes. <laughs> That's insane. What's insane is a guy with a Harvard Law degree still working as an associate. Yes, passed up for partner by old Tom Cruise out there. Guess you should have been slipping the boss your top gun. That I killed an innocent <laughs> kid and my boss, my mentor of 12 years. 12 years. Hold on. I don't believe that we mentioned two murders. Well, I just assumed that she was... Dead? No. Just missing. And if we find her alive, it's going to be very interesting to hear what she has to say about you, her loyal protege. Why don't you go speak to my attorney? These two doors down. Okay. 
Oh, that looks delightful. <gasps> Mom's on the right path. You just need some wine and some apples and some strawberries to go with that. Why aren't you dead? What? Who are you? Don't give me that, Charlotte. Are you a demon too? Why? Because I'm a little upset? Wouldn't you be too if you got passed up by Wheeler with the big wiener? Oh, I know who you are now. You're the one who killed me. Well, apparently not, but I am now. Sorry, can't kill my mom. No! <gasps> Lucifer! <sighs> right, you get him, detective! Don't touch the weapon! Protect me from what? No! <gasps> oh! They're gonna have to sell the whole Charlotte charade. Need to explain that blood pool somehow. Oh, you little... Devil? <laughs> yes. Looks like you can handle quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you need to follow the rules. You tell me not to ravage suspects in front of you. Now I can't do it behind your back either. I mean, make your mind up, detective. No more buying my daughter $200 dolls. Well, why not? You weren't going to. I was teaching her a lesson. Neglect 101. You're abandoning her in a time of need, detective. Explain, Mom. Explain parenting. But listen to me, doing what's best for your child, it doesn't always make them happy. Now Charlotte really can't go back to her family if she's inhabited by mom. I just wanted to apologize. You see, I really do have a lot to atone for. I've made so many mistakes lately, but I did consider you a friend and I'm deeply sorry that I ruined that. If anyone understands mistakes, it's a therapist. Not that you'd know. <laughs> Apology accepted. You have to let it go. He is Maltine. <laughs> she baked him up. Hi, mac and cheese. <laughs> so she got all the cheese, and it's a little crispy. What on earth is that? Cheesy noodles. It's what mothers make to bring their children joy. It explains all the cheese. <laughs> I want what your father took from me. I want my home back. But I know that's not possible. So I want to do what I can. To be a good mother to you here on earth and does she want to keep him on earth you abandoned me mum thrown into hell and vilified for all eternity your father never sent you to hell i did oh great much better after the rebellion your father was angry he wanted to destroy you. I asked him to send you to hell instead. I did it because I love you, son. If you still need me to return to hell, I understand. It's very gracious of you, Mother. <laughs> okay, but please don't send me back to hell. <laughs> Does he have the power to send her to hell? At this point in time. All right, you can stay. For now. Uh, Figure out what I need to do. Thank you, son. I don't know if I trust mom yet. Was that a fuck you to dad? <laughs> to oh, I have questions. <laughs> so if mom stays around for a bit, her and Chloe are going to cross paths. How do you explain that? And Charlotte not going back. Charlotte to her family. And I don't think there's any way that case, whatever, junior lawyer, whatever. 
ever, ever make it through trial ever. <laughs> so messy. So as I'm watching, having all this interpersonal relationship, him and Amenadel, mom and him, I'm kind of, I'm not like this, like I'm born, because it's been so long since the events that have affected them have happened. I was wondering, I was thinking like, what, how this show would hit if they had set it in 800s AD, you know, <laughs> BC, <laughs> Middle Ages, if it would hit differently if Lucifer had gone to Earth to be playboy extraordinaire in the building of the pyramids. <laughs> The fact that it's 2000s and they talk about the events as if it were yesterday. So that's why I don't trust mom is because it's been a millennia. How do you not develop resentment <laughs> of being in prison as a non-corporeal being? And where was Maze? How did Maze spring? Was, was Maze human and sent to earth after she died was she born there does it matter i don't know yet if it matters or not and what is mom's plan what is mom's plan obviously she's throwing two middle fingers up so what is her plan besides using lucifer so many questions and so many more episodes to hopefully find the answer will it be this season there we go. Episode two. Thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. And until next time, you are going to wear your sunscreen. I'm sorry. The color change between mom's face and her shoulders. The makeup was off. So wear your sunscreen. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Um, be kind to your cheese. And then come back. <laughs> Watch the next video in the queue. <laughs> so thanks again, y'all. And until next time.